Uh, welcome back. BlackRock causing a bit of a stir in the financial world recently announcing it will lay off about 40 employees and instead use data mining tools to help select stocks. Some are calling this robot stock pickers. Larry Fink is with us, chairman and CEO of BlackRock. Tell me about the use of technology. You went through this in the annual letter to shareholders talking about how things have changed over the last 20 years and how you are instituting new technology. And I know Aladdin is not so new, no. but it's evolved. Tell us about it. Well, first, I was overwhelmingly surprised at the media attention on that. We have 13,000 employees. We made some moves, and it became, you know, front page uh, uh, a media event. Because you're moving 40 employees. <laughs> 40 employees, yes. Uh, and, uh, and there was a little uh, fake news of saying we're going to go from uh, humans to machines, which is certainly not the case. Anyway, um, BlackRock has always had its whole foundation in technology, as you said, Aladdin. So, so when we started the company with eight people in one room with no business, 25% of the hires were te technologists. And so we always wanted to build a platform in which we had some ability to understand the risk we were taking. And that morphed into this whole giant platform. And it's been a consistency of our firm for the full 29 years. I would also say when you have one technology platform, it creates a culture. And so let's be clear. What's the most important about Aladdin for us is that it created that unifying culture. You're, if you're on one technology platform, everybody's communicating on that one pipe. Everybody's in there, you know, from client uh, client information to our portfolios. That's to, good info flow. That's very good information it's, flow. It's fantastic. Yeah. So, so our whole foundation has been technology, and as we witness in everything we do in our life, technology is rapidly changing. Um, and so we built a huge foundation in risk management technology. But over the years, and especially since the acquisition of BGI in 2009, BGI has been always a, hist uh, a leader in quantitative analysis in both bonds and equities. Uh, they, call, they call it model-based investing. Um, and that team has actually done exceedingly well, e even in all the volatility. Those teams, even in the ups and downs and all of the uncertainty around active management, they continue to do really well. Mm -hmm. They're having a great quarter, first quarter. They're doing well already in April. What we believe in now is because of the transformation of society where we have sensors everywhere. We can f learn about where people are going. We could learn what stores having more foot traffic. We could learn who's walking across the street. Okay, not the and individual. All these are data points. These are all data use. points. So I don't want to say we're following an individual. We're talking about <laughs> a human being. I don't. Right, we're right. not watching anybody. I don't want <laughs> get, get to. Get It's, not, it's not Big Brother. Right, right. But but we have information of of volumes. The other thing because. So many of us use the internet for communication. You have ability to do word analysis related to every company. Most companies have blogs. You could go on blogs and find out what is the opinion of a company. There is absolute solid evidence when employees are happy with their company, their stocks do as well. They're more productive, I bet. They're more productive, they're happy, they're going to work. When people are really unhappy with their company, the stock generally will underperform. That's so, a great point. So, um, so we're using more and more big data as a means to understand new insights for investing. So I said we've used technology for uh, risk management. We have heavily used and even using more technology to help us get better insight and in how to invest, where to invest. Uh, is, is the performance better on some of those models than a, an individual picking well, stocks? Do I, we, we have know some, if the performance yeah, is better? I would say we have had more consistency at BlackRock. We have some great stock pickers. Yes, I know you uh, do. Um, so I don't want to suggest it's one way or another, but we've had some great consistency with the models. And indeed, what the transformation is we have so much more information. Why not use it? Absolutely. That's the fun part of it. 